परम श्रद्धे आदरणीय माननीय श्री आचार्य देवव्रत जी ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ गुजरात एंड ऑनरेबल चांसलर ऑफ कामधेनु यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर एन एच केलावाला ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर ऑफ दिस डिस्टिंग्विस्ड यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर के के हडिया रजिस्ट्रार डॉक्टर डी बी पाटिल डायरेक्टर रिसर्च ऑल रिस्पेक्टेड मेम्बर्स ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एकेडमिक काउंसिल्स इन्वाइटेड गेस्ट लोकपाल डॉक्टर एम ठाकर स्टूडेंट्स एवार्डीज पर्सन फ्रॉम प्रेस एंड मीडिया बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर कुलीग्स एट द आउटसेट लेट मी कन्वे माई ग्रेटिट्यूड्स टू ऑनरेबल चांसलर एंड वाइस चांसलर एंड मेम्बर ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कम हियर एंड शेयर माई थाट फॉर कपल ऑफ मिनट्स I congratulate all the students who have completed their degree, either in veterinary science, or in dairy science, or in fishery science, graduation, post-graduation, doctoral, with honors, laurels, awards, medals. My heartiest congratulation to each and every one students. I pray for all success in your life. I wish you all the best for your future. dear students you know that in this country 68% population is below 35 years of age and one third population is between 15 to 35 years of age and this is the population to whom not only india whole world is looking forward this is the population which can make the india of our dream to make the india a developed nation a big sit bharat and you all are belonging to this group let me say that with your degree masters doctoral graduation you may join further study research development government offices corporate sectors but let us accept that each and every one is going going to join the journey of glory of india and each and every one is having the biggest responsibility on their shoulder and the biggest responsibility for each and every one sitting in this hall is to keep feeding the ever increasing population of this country 1.44 billion today when we dream to become bharat as a biksit bharat our population will be 1.64 billion that will be the biggest challenge let me share one success story of this country in 1962 when we export when we imported only 10 million ton of the wheat from us to feed our population whole world was looking india as a nation from ship to mouth ki agar ship se aana jayega to inke muh mein jayega but today we are committed to give the 60 million home grown food grains to meet the parliament commitment of food security bill so we traveled a long distance from food deficiency to food sufficiency and now we are food surplus but let us remember of 1943 when 40 lakhs people die in west bengal only because of starvation so we traveled a long distance we all are here associated with the livestock sector dairy sector fishery sector poultry sector sir with permission i would like to say that along with green revolution white revolution came silently which was which was less noticed never glamorized less talked in 1957 when we were producing 30 million ton of the rice we brought green revolution and today we are producing 110 million ton of the rice three times more but at the same corresponding period the milk production was only 17 million ton and today we are producing 130 million ton of the milk the impact of dairy sector in food and nutritional security was more than the crop sector but it was never glamorized government of india data says honorable sir that today the value of only milk is more than 
वैल्यू ऑफ वीट प्लस राइस प्लस शुगर केन प्लस ऑल पल्सेस द वैल्यू ऑफ मिल्क इज 8.5 पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स करोर्स एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ राइस वीट पल्सेस शुगर केन इज 4.5 पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स करोर इन मिड सेवेंटीज इंडिया वॉज प्रोड्यूसिंग वन थर्ड ऑफ द यूएस इंडिया वॉज प्रोड्यूसिंग द मिल्क वन थर्ड ऑफ द यूएस एंड वन एट्थ ऑफ द यूरोपियन यूनियन in mid 70s and today we are producing double of the us and at least 25 to 30% of 30% more than european union so this is the big journey of our livestock sector dairy sector the biggest strength of our livestock sector is that despite the limited investment either from corporate sector or from private sector or from government sector there has been a constant and sustainable growth Indian livestock sector has never achieved negative growth in the last two decades. This is the biggest achievement of our livestock sector. India is the only country which is having 54 recognized registered breed of the cattle, 20 recognized registered breed of the buffalo, and they are the treasure of our country. Today, might be that our cross breed is giving more milk, but if you compare. the milk production in whole life span i think our indigenous animal is producing more milk than our cross breed because cross breed is coming out of the shed coming on the road after 3 lactation after 2 lactation but our, our indigenous animal is going for 9 10 we, we had at ndri bangalore a animal which gave the 12 lactation so total lifetime milk production may not be much different between cross breed of indigenous animal they are the treasure of our country still we are following all production system low input low output moderate input moderate output and intensive input and very high output if we see the nutritional security i always say sir that food security can be brought by the crop sector but as far as nutritional security we have to rely on livestock fishery and poultry sector i give only two three most important point which livestock sector is giving to our nutritional security today despite our all glorious data on food production livestock production friends let us realize that still there is malnutrition there is hidden hunger there is poverty there is hunger not only in this country but globally 75 to 80% women of adolescent age are suffering with only one disease that is the iron deficiency anemia 57% of children and women are suffering with vitamin b complex deficiency although we did not get a single case of blindness in the last 20 years because of vitamin b complex deficiency if we talk about of livestock products milk a excellent source of protein fat carbohydrate you take butter you take milk fat there will be never rise in bad cholesterol in your body calcium phosphorus vitamin d exactly are in the same ratio which will lead to 100% bioavailability of the calcium sir the, um, 10 years before 8 9 10 years before there was advertisement on the television that doctor says to the mother that earn this uh, mix this products maybe born vita harlicks are like this i will not name in the milk otherwise calcium will go waste it will not be absorbed at that time i and dr rameshwar singh we were at the ndri we wrote a strong letter with all the proof and we compel them to withdraw that advertisement because milk is having calcium phosphorus vitamin d exactly in the same ratio which will lead to 100% absorption bioavailability of the calcium from the milk milk is the only food which is having a short chain fatty acid butyric acid which helps in the multiplication of brain no other food is having so masses which i will like to give to you and i will request all the students that please talk to your folk mothers villagers uneducated mothers and the message is that the food and nutrition in initial 1000 days 
is the most important nutrition for his or her whole life. If a child is not provided good nutrition during initial 1000 days, the child will remain epigenetically predisposed for syndrome X disease, and syndrome X disease include diabetes, hypertension, and dyslipidemia. And that is the reason that today we are suffering with all these diseases. So please give this message to 10, at least 10 folk mothers, uneducated mothers, so that our country is healthy in the future. Last sentence, because time is short, last things which I would like to convey that dear students, in your life, along with science, along with innovation, along with research, extension, communication to the stakeholder is most important. Best example I give you that 20, 30 years before, there were problem of goiter, iodine deficiency in this country. We did good research, we fortified the iodine in the salt. Product came in the market but we never communicated to stakeholder. We never told them that what is the best way to, to consume the iodized salt. Iodized salt was never made for the cooking purposes. It was a table salt. When our mothers and sisters put the iodized salt in dal and sabji, within five minutes iodine get oxidized and evaporated. If we have communicated, to the villagers, to the poor peoples, we would have not taken the 40 years to eradicate the goiter. We would have eradicated in 10 years. So communication, extension is more important than the research. In the last, dear students, I wish you all the best. Bhagwan, aap loon ki sari ikshayen, aap loon ke sare sapne pure karein, aap ke parivar ke sare sapne pure karein. Main un abhivaakon ko bhi bhoot bhoot dhanebaad deta hoon, jo ki aap ki jarurton ke liye apne kitni sari jarurton ko sacrifice kiya hooga. Aap ka future mangal mein rahe, aur aap hamesa aage bhatte rahe. Meri taraf se aap sab loongo ko bhoot sari shubh kamna hai. Bhagwan, aap sab loongo ko pasand rakhe, khus rakhe. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.